Welcome back, peeps. Matt Moscona, YouTube channel. Thrilled to have you here for another whiskey review. And today, I'm excited about this one because we'll be talking about a very interesting item in my collection. It is Second Glance American Whiskey. If nothing else, as you can see, the label itself makes this a really interesting choice. I'll go ahead and spin the whole bottle for you so you can see the back of it, obviously. Um, there's some of the particulars about Second Glance American Whiskey. Gives you the alcohol by volume, the 88 proof. But the the, man, the men in ties is sort of an odd uh, artistic look to the bottle, something that's kind of uncommon, but when you learn the story of it, it makes more sense. So uh, the backstory about Second Glance is Dave Finney, who is a noted winemaker, sold off two of his brands and then decided, hey, let's go ahead and make uh, whiskey. So he's got two offerings. Second Glance is one of them. Uh, it is distilled in Kentucky. It's a blend, and the youngest uh, of which is five years. So it's uh, distilled in Kentucky, then it's shipped out to his winery in Napa, where he finishes it in his Cabernet casks. So I have had some interesting um, uh, experiences with uh, wine finished whiskeys in the past. Uh, I have already reviewed the Jefferson Reserve Pritchard Hill uh, Cabernet Cask finish. Uh, go check that out if you tag the, uh, the whis tap the whiskey review playlist on, uh, on the Matt Moscone YouTube page. And that one is one that I like literally hope people would just come to my house and say, oh, I love that, so I can just get rid of it because I hate it so much. It's got such an awful finish to it, and that's disappointing for me because I really like Jefferson's, as I've shared with some of my other reviews in the past. So I was hesitant with this one, but it came highly recommended from someone I trusted. So I did, in fact, sample it, bought the bottle, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a, uh, a sampling here. It's kind of cool. You can tell it's, I mean, it's a, a dark, like, black glass bottle, so it's interesting in and of itself. Um, I'll give myself a little pour there. I'll keep it here for uh, for Dave. So Dave's getting that. You're welcome, Dave. Product placement friend. Um, you'll notice, of course... Color, fine. You get a little, some of those, uh, the amber hints in there as well, the reddish amber hints. So that's interesting to me. Uh, I'll get the nose. Not overpowering, not spicy. You get more sweet than anything, which you might actually expect, obviously, with the Cabernet uh, cask finish. Let's go ahead and cheers. You get a little spice. But mostly what you get is, is our hints of maple and honey and fruit. And of course, you're going to taste that, that red wine taste, that dried fruit in the finish, which by the way, it's still finishing right now, which is kind of remarkable. It's got a very intense finish, which I like an awful lot. Uh, this is an, an interesting choice for me uh, because, like I mentioned, I have been, I've been hesitant at times with with Cabernet Cat and wine finished whiskeys. The other interesting thing about uh, about Second Glance is that um, it's it's 88 proof, which is respectable, but they they sort of cut that down to 88 by using wine from the Napa uh, winery. So it, it, it's it's the whole process is interesting, which gives it a truly unique flavor as compared to maybe other. Uh, uh, other whiskeys finished in wine barrels. So we'll go ahead and give this one another go. Cheers. Not overpowering. If you like something uh, with a little more bite, this is probably not for you. If you like something with a clean finish uh, that is going to be sweet on the palate and have a very long sort of layered finish as well, I think you'll enjoy it. You're not going to get a ton of oak, so if you if you want to feel like you're licking a tree, this probably isn't for you as well. But if you're someone who wants something that that's a bit different than what you'd find mostly, uh, just have something different on your bar. Obviously, just from the artistic sake of the bottle, but also something that's going to be a little bit of a change of pace from your normal whiskeys and bourbons. This is a really good choice. So as far as you know, whiskeys finished in wine barrels, I've been pretty hit or miss with a lot of that I'm, that I've had. But this is by far one of my favorite, and it's reasonably priced as well. So, uh, if you're looking for a um, for a change of pace to keep on your bar, I would highly recommend you pick up Second Glance. Again, uh, you're welcome, Dave Finney, for the product placement. Uh, so, if someone let Dave know that I'm talking about it, 
I love the art. I love the cool bottle. It's a really cool conversation piece as well just to talk about it. But also, I don't think uh, it doesn't disappoint as well when you take a sip. So cheers. You can pick it up at uh, great local retailers. Of course, you're in Baton Rouge. I always recommend Calandros because they just have... They have the best selection of, of, I mean, they just have like the best selection, period. So, and their people are really great there as well. So, uh, check it out. Second Glance from uh, Savage and Cook is the under which it's labeled, so or bottled. So, Savage and Cook, Second Glance, uh, the Cabernet finished, cask finished whiskey, American blend. Hope you enjoy it. Please do me a solid. Subscribe to the page. Uh, share this if you would. And let people know that we do it. If there's anything that you'd like for me to review, I'm happy to do it. And as always, we come with no, absolutely no judgment here at all. So if you like something great, great. If it's cheap and you like it, great. If you feel like you want to go drink something really expensive, that's cool for you too, whatever. I, I run the gamut. And um, I like some weird stuff and some traditional stuff as well and some really, really expensive stuff. So if you're new to the page... I appreciate you for being here. Comments, suggestions, always welcome. In the meantime, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by.